an orchid is a polyester modified by the addition of fatty acids and other components. They are derived from polyols and a dicarboxylic acid or carboxylic acid anhydride. The term orchid is a modification of the original name alcid, reflecting the fact that they are derived from alcohol and organic acids. The inclusion of the fatty acid confers a tendency to form flexible coating. Orchids are used in paints and in molds for casting. They are the dominant resin or binder in most commercial oil-based coatings. Approximately 200,000 tons of orchid resins are produced each year. The original orchids were compounds of glycerol and thalic acid sold under the name glyptol. These were sold as substitutes for the darker colored copal resins, thus creating orchid varnishes which were much paler in color. From these, the orchids we know today were developed. Manufacture There are two types of orchid resins, drying and non-drying. Both types are typically produced from dicarboxylic acids or anhydrides, such as thalic anhydride or maleic anhydride, and polyols, such as trimethylopropane, glycerine, or pentaerythritol. Orchids are also used in items such as resins and paints. For the drying resins, triglycerides are derived from polyunsaturated fatty acids. These drying orchids are cured in air. The drying speed and the nature of the coatings depends on the amount and type of drying oil employed and use of metal salts, the so-called oil drying agents. These metal complex that catalyze cross-linking of the unsaturated sites. Orchid coatings are produced in two processes. Fatty acid process and the alcoholysis or monoglyceride process. Higher quality higher performance orchids are produced in the fatty acid process where the composition of the resulting resin can be more precisely controlled. In this process an acid anhydride, a polyol and an unsaturated fatty acid are combined and cooked together until the product has achieved a predetermined level of viscosity. Penton orchids are made this way. More economical orchid resins are produced from the alcoholysis or glyceride process where end product quality control is not as paramount. In this process raw vegetable oil, high in unsaturated component, is combined with additional polyol and heated to cause transesterification of the triglycerides into a mixture of the mono and diglyceride oils. To this resulting mixture acid, and hydride is added to build the molecular weight of the resin into roughly the same product as in the fatty acid process. However, the alcoholysis process, also known as the glyceride process, produces a more randomly oriented structure. To remove the water produced as a byproduct and to increase the reaction rate, surplus thalic anhydride was added. Water was thus removed with the unreacted acid by heating the bulk to a temperature needed to do this. It meant that the reaction was not as controllable as would be desired. A new process was introduced, in which xylene was added to produce an azeotrope with the water. This gave greater control at a lower temperature, this also produced resins at a lower viscosity, useful in making high solids paints. This process was known as the AZO process. In both cases the resulting product is a polyester resin to which pendant drying oil groups are attached. At the conclusion of both processes the resin is purified, diluted in solvent and sold to paint and varnish makers. Metal casting, orchid or oil urethane binders are used in metal casting for the creation of sand-based molds. The orchid resin is mixed with a polymeric isocyanate and a metallic dryer, which speeds the reaction. And like other no-bake mold technologies, the process yields no toxic fumes but the molds need a longer air curing. Coating types, orchid coatings are typically sold in three classes, long, medium, and short. These terms represent the oil length in the resin. Orchids are also modified with phenolic resin, styrene, vinyl toluene, acrylic monomers, and polyurethanes. By adding certain modifying resins, it is possible to produce thirxotropic orchids for decorative use. The latest orchids are short oil AD resins where the oil length is shortened by chain stopping with benzoic acid and now paratert butyl benzoic acid, these have a better controlled molecular weight distribution and better durability. Orchids for decorative use have extra oil cooked into length in them and to make them more durable. Short oil resins used in stoving enamels are made from non-drying saturated oils or fatty acids. 
these usually have much higher hydroxyl and acid values, to be able to react with the hydroxyl groups of the amino resins. These mixtures are usually stabilized with our means to prevent gelling on storage. Because the major components of an orchid coating, that is fatty acids and triglyceride oils, are derived from low-cost renewable resources, this has kept the cost of orchid coatings very low despite ever-increasing cost of petroleum, which is the predominant raw material source of most other coatings such as vinyls, acrylics, epoxies, and polyurethanes. Typical sources of drying oils for orchid coatings are, linseed, tongue, sunflower oil, safflower oil, walnut oil, soybean oil, fish oil, corn oil, DCO, and tall oil. Non-drying slash plasticizer resins are made from castor, palm, coconut oils and cardura. Dehydrated castor oil was at one time the only oil allowed to be used in resin manufacture in India, no edible oils were allowed to be used. References, Frank N. Jones, Orchid Resins, Ullman's Encyclopedia of Industrial Chemistry, Weinheim, Wiley VCH, doi, 10.1002-14356007A01409, Published online, January 15, 2003. Additives for Coatings J.H. Bielman, ed. Wiley VCH, 2000, Weinheim. ISBN 3-527-29785-5. C.W. Ammon. Metal Casting Pages 36. ISBN 978-0-07-134246-9.